What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Zoe No Days off DFS here to bring you guys some Monday Night Football plays for today's Saints taking on the Kansas City Queefs. Um, I'm actually excited because NFL has been treating pretty good uh, over here for the No Days Off family. If you guys are a part of the Pat Pat and Patreon, then uh, yesterday you guys know we definitely made some money over here with the plays that I put out on the slate. And honestly, I dropped these plays at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on sunday so it was out well in time early if you were able to hop on these go ahead and play these plays you definitely made some red as you can see close to that clean sweep once again and hopefully going to get it tonight on the monday night football now thursday night football i have put out the list of plays came really close i realized after uh, going over and doing my breakdown in the last video that i missed one play over here which was um Honestly, cannot remember which one it was. But anyway, I missed one play uh, over here on the Thursday Night Football. Tonight, I'm going to get the sweep. I, I've already posted my post of plays up there on the uh, Patreon. So it's already up there. So if you are a part of the No Days Off family, and if you would like to join the No Days Off family, check the link down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and do that. But if not, I'm going to give you guys some free plays over here right now over here uh especially because now we have the Derek Carr promo for the 185.5 passing yards which I already was, it was expecting for Carr to go out here and throw for like 225 250 yards uh, in this game I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually able to hit 275 uh in it anyway go ahead make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to the channel so you guys don't miss any of the content I put out over here on the channel and drop a like on this video if this video or any of my other videos help you guys win some money now I'm going to give you guys a couple of plays that I think you can actually well not I think I know you can pair up with this right here if you want to run a power four of course the correlation the correlation everything goes with correlation nowadays uh over here i'm gonna give you guys that so you guys can actually make you some bread make you some cheddar over here uh for this play um the easy first two-man play that i do believe 110 should cash no no problem go ahead put it in max the 25 dollars uh, watch it double up and go and enjoy a beer or something while you watch the game you take this Derek car 185.5 passing yards you go over here to the receiving yards you go to our guy travis kelsey for his 39 and a half receiving yards you play those two up together uh kelsey the matchup right now that he has going up against the uh the saints saints have been torched they have been burned by opposing tight ends it's it's, it's kind of been a no-brainer in regards to it um right now he's going to be the main focal point for the kansas city chiefs because of course there's no rasheed rice there's no marquise brown um you have of course, a rookie and Xavier Worthy. Yes, you have Justin Watson out here, Juju Smith washed up, Noah Gray, the other tight end. And then, of course, just the chemistry that he has with um, Patrick Mahomes out there. Very, 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 very easy. The Saints, they are allowing roughly over 50 yards a game to the opposing tight ends. Um, that's sitting right there in the top five in regards to uh, yards allowed to the tight end position in the NFL. Um, definitely is a good spot right there. Again, like I said, the script should be there in regards to the passing. Um, who else are they going to pass to over there for the Chiefs? So it's there for him. Love Travis Kelsey for that 39 and a half receiving yards. The safety that I can get, I will pair that up with the passing yards prop over here for the Derek Carr. Run it, easy day, boom, live another day. Take that right there and double it on Taco Tuesday because now that I got my 50 from that, now I can play two tacos, max it out with another um, discounted play, and boom, we're making money left and right. That's how, that's how you work it right there. Uh, other than that, you can mess with his 59 and a half receiving yards. I do like that one right there. That's not a bad one at all. Um, I do, again, think that he is going to be a focal point. Now, this has been bumped up from 57 to 58 to 59 now. Uh, still, I do think there is some value. I would take it maybe up to like 62, 65, just because I do expect him to be peppered. Uh, another one that you can actually mess with, and this is more of a lean, the eight uh, receiving targets, just because I do, I really do believe that he's going to be peppered out here in regards to what, what they're going to be doing um, in this game. Now, outside of that, I did say that um, you can make a, a power four, and if you want to do some correlation, uh, you can. Uh, that correlation that I really would be looking to, because on the flip side, on the other side of that, we have another player who is going to pretty much benefit in regards to um, what the opposing team is giving up to tight ends as well. Uh, the Chiefs, they as well are giving up quite a bit of yards to the opposing tight end position. Uh, Jawan Johnson, I know that Foster Monroe is listed as the tight end one, but his snap count has been decreasing. Jawan Johnson has been going up, and he is seeing more targets than uh, Foster Moreau and running more routes uh, while they're out there. Of course, if you guys don't understand, routes will equal some production and targets uh, whenever it comes out to the NFL. So Jawan Johnson at 22 and a half receiving yards, I don't mind uh, actually taking that right there. No, he has not covered that in uh, the last game going against Atlanta. So if you do want to go out here and mess with the nine and a half receiving yards, that's just one reception right there because um, most of his targets and yards will at least be, I'd say, about eight to 10 yards down the field. So easy day for him to go ahead and actually be able to cover that right there. Now, another 
another one that I do believe just because the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, they do play um, cover two. They, they do play that high and they also do blitz uh, quite a bit. Um, well, not necessarily blitz, but do get some pressure. That's why I also do like um, Juwan Jennings in regards to just those easy uh, in the middle of the field type plays that we should be seeing on, on the day. Um, but another play who should be able to benefit from that, that should be Alvin Kamara, who we already do know Derek Carr does not mind going to the check down. We know Alvin Kamara will run some routes. He will run those, those little shallow um, spots right there as well, playing out of the slot and things like that. He is a very good pass catching back. 34 and a half receiving yards. I really do actually like that one right there as a main line, but I don't mind just going ahead and taking that 24 and a half receiving yards prop. He has cleared this literally in every single game that he's played already this season. Um, the upside is definitely there for him to be able to go ahead and get this. I do really feel like the uh, Saints will be passing quite a bit in order to stay in this game and that the the Queefs, they're, they're, it should somewhat be an ugly game, but still, the Queefs are the Queefs. You already know that uh, any moment in time, they can go ahead and blow out somebody uh, if they actually decide to and that they want to. Now, outside of that, um, last play that I'm going to give you guys, because if you want a full list of plays, definitely got to check out the Patreon. But the last play that I am going to give you is going to be rush attempts, Scream Hunt. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs, they actually average roughly about 28 to 29 rush attempts a game. And without their main running backs uh, out there, and of course, like I said, the the issues that they have with their rookie running back with the fumbles, uh, Cream Hunt, he's out there. He's playing back in Arrowhead. We already know that um, this guy, he knows the system. He understands what he's doing. Uh, 12 rush attempts in the first game that he played for them last week going up against the Chargers. 14 rush attempts in that game. Um, I can see them definitely, if they have a lead, definitely in the fourth quarter, just wearing them down. Uh, Kareem Hunt, we could see him go ahead and getting those those rush attempts and um, just getting up, getting a couple of those yards. Not really going to mess with anything else in regards to like his rushing yards or anything like that. But I really do actually like his rushing attempts. This was sitting at 11 and a half. It actually was sitting at 10 and a half, got bumped to 11 and a half. But I will still take it up to 12. Will not mess with it at 12 and a half if they do bump it up to 12 and a half. I just think that that's definitely just getting quite risky uh, for the event that possibly something doesn't go your way. But I do like that 12. It's push potential uh, right there. I can definitely see him be able to, to, to get that and at least come close to getting it. Uh, for us but that's all i'm gonna give you guys uh, right there for today if you guys are looking for anything else talk to me down in the comment section i don't mind talking plays right there or you can hit me up on the um twitter or error or inside of the discord hopefully everyone goes ahead and cashed out and has a pretty good day um not hopefully this will be a good game i know it's gonna be a lot to live up to what we just saw the atlanta falcons game do uh recently because that was honestly just one for the ages it was fireworks left and right in that game and it was very enjoyable so uh hopefully we can see a air raid and um some ground the clock some good uh playing uh, out here in this game good luck to everybody NBA is right around the corner. I'm actually going to look at some NBA preseason, see if I can get some plays up for that. Peace.